Hollywood stars and college prep executives are among those accused of carrying out a nationwide scheme to help students gain admission to top schools. Dozens were charged, including actresses Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman. And tonight we're learning details about a Palmetto, Florida man's involvement in this scam. Investigator Katie Legrone has the story. This prep school in Bradenton now attracting nationwide attention after one of its employees is charged for his involvement in what is being described as the largest college admission scam in U.S. history. Described online as the director of college entrance exams at the prestigious IMG Academy in Bradenton, Mark Rydell would help students at the school known for launching the careers of young athletes prepare for college admission exams. Now the feds say Rydell took that role to a criminal level by getting paid to help wealthy parents cheat their children's way into elite colleges around the country. The rich and famous not immune to this pay-to-play college scheme, say the feds. These parents are a catalog of wealth and privilege. They include, for example, CEOs of private and public companies, successful securities and real estate investors, two well-known actresses, a famous fashion designer, and the co-chairman of a global law firm. According to federal documents, starting in 2011, Rydell, one of two Florida men involved in the treating scandal, would secretly take the SAT and ACT exams for students. In other cases, he would replace their wrong answers with his right ones. By early afternoon, Rydell's image and bio were taken down from IMG Academy's website. Over a scheme that involved college coaches, test administrators, and more than two dozen parents who used their position, power, and money to guarantee their kids a spot at the top. We believe all of them, parents, coaches, and facilitators, lied, cheated, and covered up their crimes at the expense of hardworking students and taxpayers everywhere. These charges do not involve IMG Academy. We are told Rydell is currently on leave from the school and is cooperating with investigators. He is scheduled to appear next month in a Boston federal courtroom where he will accept responsibility for his actions. Katie Legrone, back to you.